airspeed is the speed of an aircraft relative to the air. Among the common conventions for qualifying airspeed are, indicated airspeed, calibrated airspeed, true airspeed, equivalent airspeed and density airspeed. During cruising flight at altitudes, airspeeds, and temperatures common for airliners, the four speeds trace a shape that looks like the mathematical square root symbol. Starting with indicated airspeed, calibrated is normally very close to the indicated airspeed, while equivalent is normally less than both indicated and calibrated, and true is normally higher than the other three. The measurement and indication of airspeed is ordinarily accomplished on board an aircraft by an airspeed indicator connected to a PTOT static system. The PTOT static system comprises one or more PTOT probes facing the oncoming airflow to measure PTOT pressure and one or more static ports to measure the static pressure in the airflow. These two pressures are compared by the ASI to give an IAS reading. Indicated airspeed. Indicated airspeed is the airspeed indicator reading uncorrected for instrument, position, and other errors. From current EASA definitions, Indicated airspeed means the speed of an aircraft is shown on its PTOT static airspeed indicator calibrated to reflect standard atmosphere adiabatic compressible flow at sea level uncorrected for airspeed system errors. Outside the former Soviet bloc, most airspeed indicators show the speed in knots. Some light aircraft have airspeed indicators showing speed in statute miles per hour or kilometers per hour. An airspeed indicator is a differential pressure gauge with a pressure reading expressed in units of speed, rather than pressure. The airspeed is derived from the difference between the ram air pressure from the PTOT tube, or stagnation pressure, and the static pressure. The PTOT tube is mounted facing forward. The static pressure is frequently detected at static ports on one or both sides of the aircraft. Sometimes both pressure sources are combined in a single probe. A PTOT static tube. The static pressure measurement is subject to error due to inability to place the static ports at positions where the pressure is true static pressure at all airspeeds and attitudes. The correction for this error is the position error correction and varies for different aircraft and airspeeds. Further errors of 10% or more are common if the airplane is flown in a Euro own coordinated a Euro flight. Calibrated airspeed. Calibrated airspeed is indicated airspeed corrected for instrument errors, position error and installation errors. Calibrated airspeed values less than the speed of sound at standard sea level are calculated as follows, minus position and installation error correction. Where, is the calibrated airspeed, is the impact pressure sensed by the PTOT tube, is 29.92126 inches hg. Static air pressure at standard sea level, is 661.4788 knots. Speed of sound at standard sea level. Units other than knots and inches of mercury can be used, if used consistently. This expression is based on the form of Bernoulli's equation applicable to a perfect, incompressible gas. The values for and are consistent with the ISA that is the conditions under which airspeed indicators are calibrated. Equivalent airspeed. Equivalent airspeed is defined as the speed at sea level that would produce the same incompressible dynamic pressure as the true airspeed at the altitude at which the vehicle is flying. An aircraft in forward flight is subject to the effects of compressibility. Likewise, the calibrated airspeed is a function of the compressible impact pressure. EAS, on the other hand, is a measure of airspeed that is a function of incompressible dynamic pressure. Structural analysis is often in terms of incompressible dynamic pressure, so that equivalent air speed is a useful speed for structural testing. At standard sea level pressure, calibrated air speed and equivalent air speed are equal. Up to about 200 knots CAS and 10,000 feet the difference is negligible, but at higher speeds and altitudes CAS must be corrected for compressibility error to determine EAS. The significance of equivalent air speed is that, at Mach numbers below the onset of wave drag, all of the aerodynamic forces and moments on an aircraft are proportional to the square of the equivalent air speed. The equivalent air speed is closely related to the indicated air speed shown by the air speed indicator. Thus, the handling and feel of an aircraft, and the aerodynamic loads upon it, 
at a given equivalent air speed, are very nearly constant and equal to those at standard sea level irrespective of the actual flight conditions. True air speed. True air speed is the speed of the aircraft relative to the atmosphere. The true air speed and heading of an aircraft constitute its velocity relative to the atmosphere. The vector relationship between the true air speed and the speed with respect to the ground is where equals wind speed vector, aircraft flight instruments, however, don't compute true air speed as a function of ground speed and wind speed. They use impact and static pressures as well as a temperature input. True air speed is equivalent air speed that is corrected for pressure altitude and temperature. The result is the true physical speed of the aircraft relative to the surrounding body of air. At standard sea level conditions, true air speed, calibrated air speed and equivalent air speed are all equal. The simplest way to compute true air speed is using a function of Mach number. Where, equals speed of sound at standard sea level, equals Mach number, equals temperature, equals standard sea level temperature, or if Mach number is not known. Where, equals speed of sound at standard sea level, equals impact pressure, equals static pressure, equals temperature, equals standard sea level temperature. The above equation is only for Mach numbers less than 1.0. True air speed differs from the equivalent air speed because the air speed indicator is calibrated at SL, ISA conditions, where the air density is 1.225 kg mar cubed, whereas the air density in flight normally differs from this value. Thus, where is the air density at the flight condition? The air density may be calculated from where is the air pressure at the flight condition, is the air pressure at sea level equals 1013.2 hectopascals, is the air temperature at the flight condition, is the air temperature at sea level, ISA equals 288.15 K, source, aerodynamics of a compressible fluid. Liebman and Puckett 1947. Publishers John Wiley and Sons Incorporated. Ground Speed. Ground speed is the speed of the aircraft relative to the ground rather than through the air, which can itself be moving relative to the ground. See also, V-speeds, maneuvering speed. References Glout H., The Elements of Aerofoil and Air Screw Theory, Chapter 2, Cambridge University Press, 1947, Liebman H.W. and A.E. Puckett, Introduction to Aerodynamics of a Compressible Fluid, John Wiley and Sons. Incorporated 1947. External links, a free Windows calculator which converts between various air speeds according to the appropriate atmospheric conditions, calculate true and equivalent air speed, calculate ground speed and wind triangles, true, equivalent, and calibrated air speed at math pages, measurement of aircraft air speed and altitude, nebite air speed converter.